Okay. <coughs> Thanks for introduction. I'm good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mula Lin from San Yasan University. Oh, sorry. It's my great honor to present our work, Recurrent, Recurrent 3D Post Sequence Machine. This joint work with Liang Lin, Xiao Dang Liang, Ke Zhe Wang, and Hui Chen. Since our work aims to produce 3D posts from molecular videos, in the first part, I will briefly introduce the 3D human post estimation task. Similar to 2D post estimation, 3D post estimation aims to predict the 3D joint coordinates as illustrated in the lower law. Posts from different viewpoints are provided. This task has many high-level applications, including human-computer interaction, motion sensing games, and augmented reality. 3D human pose estimation shares common challenges with 2D human pose estimation, including large variation in human appearance, arbitrary camera viewpoints, and external occlusion and self-occlusion. These three images are challenging case for 2D pose estimation. As for 3D pose estimation, in a geometric perspective, 3D pose is inherently ambiguous. For example, given the left 2D image, there are several various 3D pose interpretation which results in the same 2D representation. Some of them are sold on the right side together with the ground truth. The 3D posts here are plotted on a side view. Another challenge for this task is the limited 3D post, 3D post data, which greatly restricts deep learning based algorithms. The main reason comes from two aspects. On the one hand, annotating 3D posts from RGB image is impractical because of the 2D to 3D ambiguity. On the other hand, the 3D post data could be captured by 3D motion capture systems, but the data could only be captured in controlled environments, for example, in, for the largest public available data set, human 3.6M data set, is, it is only captured in this four meter times three meter area. In the second part, I'm going to introduce the research background and the motivation of our work. Previous work on 3D post estimation could mainly be divided into, into two pipelines. The first resource mo to model based 3D post reconstruction by using external 3D post gallery. They first built a 3D post dictionary and then applied a CNN to estimate the 2D post. And finally, an EM based algorithm is applied to estimating the 3D post. The second pipeline focuses on elaborately designing human body kinematic constraints. For example, in ECC workshop 2016, Sing Yizhou it had manually designed a kinematic object model and embedded the kinematic object model into the deep learning network. Our method is motivated by three aspects. Firstly, 2D pose has common representation with 3D pose intuitively. So our method tries to apply 2D pose feature for estimating 3D pose. Secondly, it is designed to automatically learn the image dependence structure constraints and sequence dependence temporal context to ease the geometric ambiguity. Thirdly, inspired by convolutional pose machines, multi-state refinement is applied to capture long range dependency among multiple body parts. In the following, I will talk about our recurrent 3D post sequence machines in brief we call it RPSM. Firstly, I will give an overview of our app from what given a video clip at times that t. The image is passed through 2D post feature module, feature adaption module, 3D post recurrent module sequen sequentially to predict the course 3D post. This is the stage one in our RPSM. And then the same three model is applied to the output of the first model. Note that in, the, in this stage, the 3D post 
predict in stage one is also concatenated as input to the 3D post recurrent model. The same operation is applied in stage three. Finally, the 3D post sequence is predicted as timestamp moves. Note that temporal information is applied in 3D post recurrent model. Next, I will introduce the network details of one stage in our RPSM. The input to the network is an image in shape of 368 times 368. The 2D post module is consists of 15 convolutional layers and four max pooling layers. The feature adaption module contains two convolutional layers and one fully connected layer. And the 3D post recurrent module is composed of one LSTM layer and one fully, fully connected layer to predict the 3D post. Note that the convolutional features from previous states are also concat as input to the 2D post module. And the 3D post predict from previous stage is also concat as input to the 3D post recurrent model. Our experiments are conducted on human 3.m dataset and human EVA 4 dataset. This table shows the comparison on human 3.6m datasets using 3D post error metric with other state of art methods. Our RPSM achieved the significantly improvement over all compared state of art approach, which reduced mean error by more than 20%. Here are some visualizations on human 3.6M dataset. The first two columns are predicted by compare methods. The third column is our prediction result. And the last column is ground truth 3D post. This table shows the comparison on human EVA first dataset with other states of us using 3D post alert for the walking, jog jogging, and boxing sequence. Our RPSM outperformed all the compared state-of-the-art methods by a clear margin. In conclusion, we have proposed a novel RPSM for estimating 3D human posts from sequence of monocular image. RPSM can learn to recurrently integrate rich spatial temporal long range dependencies in an implicit and comprehensive way. The extensive evaluations on two public 3D human post dataset validates the effectiveness and superior performance on, of our RPSM. And thank you for your listening, and I'm willing to answer any questions. So are there any questions? I'm checking Twitter. I don't see any here yet. Uh, so please use the microphones uh, if you have a question. I'll, I'll start with a question. Um, it, it seems like you're evaluating on certain kinds of actions, like walking, and then separately evaluating jogging and some others. Do you have sequences where people do multiple kinds of actions uh, in the same sequence? Uh, <coughs> currently, we have a very tight uh, on this uh, multiple uh, actions. We very tight our model on the, on, on the human 3.m data set and human in data set. So they, they only compared on on single motive, on single actions, but our model is trained uh, for all actions, uh, but not for uh, one one model for one action. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We have a question over here. Is it? Is that mic not on? Uh, Sorry, I can I can hear. Uh, actually, we're getting a microphone here. That'll be helpful. 
Could you give some insight on if the subject moves at various speeds um, and how robust your model is to that? Uh, the insights for our method is comes from three aspects. Firstly, since the 3D post data is limited, we uh, so we apply the 2D post feature for estimating 3D post. And secondly, uh, <coughs> since the geometric is ambiguity, we thought to we thought to we thought to uh, apply we, we integrate the special temporal features for for each this ambiguity. Thank you. So j just briefly. Uh, I want to make sure that that question was understood. If a, if a person is changing speeds during one sequence, yeah. is it going to work well? Yeah. OK. Other questions? OK. OK, well, thank you. Let's okay. thank, thank the speaker again. Thank you. Welcome to our poster at 21. <laughs>